peeps, happy Thursday. Welcome back to the sewing room. So, the P.O. Box saga continues. Things have arrived today. They have 27th of January, 10th of December, wow. 29th of December, 16th of December on them and they've only just arrived to me now so I am not at all sure what's going on with that. I've also spoken to the P.O. Box admin office today and it turns out that the problem with some of the things that I've been receiving or not receiving is that it only works with Royal Mail services so if it gets to the UK and it goes to a courier like DPD or UPS or Hermes or something like that they won't accept it at the P.O. Box which is just stupid. It's supposed to be a receiving address and like everything that you know if, if, if it came to my actual address I could receive all of those different things so I'm just yeah I'm looking into different alternatives because this is not the one but I do have three lovely cards and a parcel so um let's have a look thank you so much this one is from Alison and Binks oh thank you so much all the way from Australia Thank you, Alison. If Cat pulled the sleigh. <laughs> yep. There we go. Doesn't want to focus. Dear Sean, Jane, Danny, and uh, Wilson, Chiana, and Susie, wishing you all a very, uh, a very happy Christmas and a wonderful new year. Love, Alison and Binks. <laughs> yep. Thank you very much, Alison. That's lovely of you. Oh, this is from Jane. Oh, wow. This is one of your artworks. Sean, Jane, uh, Danny Jane and the Furry Overlord. Happy Christmas. Thank you for your great content over the year. Best wishes from Jane. And wow, that is beautiful. Thank you so much. I'll um, link Jane's details down in the description as well. You are so talented, Jane. Jane always comes to the hangouts as well. I genuinely can't believe it's taken this long for these to turn up. Sean Foy from QQ, best Christmas wishes and hope for a less challenging 2020. Keep on stitching. Hugs from Caroline in the worlds of hillsides, Abbots, Abbots Anne. Oh, thank you very much, Caroline. Thank you. And then this parcel arrived a little bit smooshed and it's fabric. It's very naughty of whoever sent this. Oh, it's from Leslie. Oh, Leslie did say she was sending me a pattern and she's put some fabric in there as well. All is merry and bright. Sean, enclosed is the blouse pattern you liked. Couldn't send you just the pattern, of course. You need some wearable twirl fabric to team with it. There's two meters and should be 60 inches wide viscose. I thought the flowers and colors were very pretty and so did the sleeves on the pattern. Anyway, enjoy. Looking forward to seeing it when it's made. Wishing you, you, mum, dad, and very merry Christmas and a healthy new, new year 20 for 2022. Best of wish... I can speak. Best wishes from Leslie and family. Thank you so much. So Leslie sent me a bunch of patterns to pick. I need to send Leslie some buttons. That's how it all started. I was like, I have some spare buttons and I still haven't sent them to you. So this is Simplicity 8948. And I really, really like this. I think it's really, really nice. And then she's also sent me, as I say, some wearable muslin fab fodder as well, which is actually far too beautiful to be muslin fodder. That's lovely. Thank you ever so much. I would say it's like a navy background, but I'm wearing navy today, so I think it's like a it's a really warm blue, uh, warm black background. That's really pretty. Thank you, Leslie, and thank you for all the cards. And I'm sorry it's taken this long to get to them. I can't believe it's taken this long for some of these things to arrive. So um, yeah. Not quite what I was expecting from a PO box service, especially at that price, but I am going to have a look into alternative methods that will accept deliveries from other companies because I know that you can't specify when you're sending something from abroad if, it, if it's going to be a Royal Mail receiver on the other end. At least I don't think you can, and if you can, it might be the most expensive option, which is not what the point of this is. So I'm going to look into it. I think what I'll do is I'll actually take the address out of the description at the moment and see what I can work on for a better solution because this is definitely not the one but thank you very much to everybody who sent me cards that's lovely of you and they're going straight into my into my um, memory folder so I am back down here today I am going to get on tracing out the deer and doe patterns I think I'm going to do the Lausanne trench coat and also the deer and doe magnolia and then I'm going to get the Brio shirt cut out of the pinstripe shirting. I'm going to get the Lausanne cut out of the brushed cotton twill because I can get more of that. 
I am going to try and alter the 7732 as well to get that cut out of calico. So lots to do today. Let's get started. Six and a half hours later. I haven't filmed any time lapses today because I was doing stuff that really wasn't that interesting for you guys to watch visually because it was tracing out and cutting out muslin. But I have done it all. I have traced out the deer and doe. Now, what did I trace today? The Lazon, the Magnolia, I have altered those patterns. I actually had to add two inches to the Deer and Doe Magnolia, an inch and three quarters to the Lazan, and then two and three quarter. Well, I've gone for two and three quarters, but it says I should have done three inches for the Brie. So I have cut all of those out of muslin for at least the bodices, but the Lazan, because I need to really go between two different sizes for the hips and the way that the pockets are done, I've cut out the muslin, a muslin of the skirt for the Lazan as well. So I haven't cut out the sleeves because I've measured those around and they're good and length is good. And the same for Brouillet. I have cut out the sleeves of the 7732 though because I've also cut that out of muslin because I was going to just go straight into my wool which was stupid because I can't get any more of the wool. It was expensive. Well I mean I got it as a remnant, as a free remnant to my order but it wasn't free because I had to spend £80 to get that free remnant. And cutting it out of calico as well will also give me the mirrored pattern pieces that I can then use to place the pattern pieces onto the check wool to see if I have enough because I'm not sure that I will and to try and get the plaid to match up. Uh, Angela Clayton's designed it to be cut so that the plaid should chevron across the coat but I'm not sure if I'm going to need extra wool to do that and I can't buy any more of that wool because I don't have any left and I only have a two meter cut so I may not be making it out of that particular wool. don't think I've got anything up there that would particularly work for it. Maybe, maybe I maybe have something that might work but it definitely won't work with Cobra Corsage and it might be a bit loud. Ooh, I have some curtain materials. It's like a polyester velvet curtain material that I have made a couple of coats for other people out of that it could look quite nice in. Possibly that. And then I could line it with the Cobra Corsage if I have any leftover from lining the Lurzon. So yeah, I have cut out Deer and Doe Magnolia Calico, Brio Calico, Lurzon Calico, 7732 Calico today. So I have been good and cut out all of the ones that I'm really not overly sure about out of calico because as much as I was thinking wearable muslins, I was like, you know what? I don't have any fabric in my stash now that is really wearable muslin fodder. I, I love everything that I have. And I did have calico left, although I've used the last of my 20 meter roll. But I've had that for two, three years now, so that 20 meter roll's not done me too badly. I haven't done that many muslins recently, like proper, proper muslins. So yeah, it's been a nice busy day and a good end to the cutting out session. I have a lot of projects there. I still have a little bit of Cobra Corsage up here and then obviously all the plain jerseys that go with it. So I will have plenty of work to do through March as well. I shall be busy. I shall be busy indeed. But tomorrow is paper crafting day. So I'm actually going to call it a night now. It's just gone 10 past 7. I'm going to go back up to the main house, have some food, sit with Chi, do some editing, watch some Supernatural. Halfway through season 7 now. Then uh, we can come back down here tomorrow and change it around a little bit more for some paper crafting. I'm going to put the ironing board away, turn that table around, move the cutting table over so we can have access to all the paper crafting stuff. So that's going to be fun. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the last few days and I will see you tomorrow for something a little bit different. Bye. Yeah, there. Here we go. Hey peeps, happy Saturday. Welcome back to currently this paper crafting room. We have it in paper crafting configuration. So mum's friend Susan came around yesterday and we had um, some fun kind of just trying out a whole bunch of different things for the book that mum made for Susan for her Christmas present. So we had the die cutter out, we tried embossing, we tried gilding, we tried um, loads of different bits and pieces. Susan's got a really good idea of what she wants to do with her book now. So we sent her away with like a little tape runner and some cutter parts and bits and pieces and yeah, she's gonna have some fun with that. So I need to turn this back into sewing configuration because I have finished cutting out. 
I've also got a fabric order that I need to package up and post. I've got some fabric that I'm going to send to the very lovely Natida. Our 100 year old neighbour de-stashed a whole bunch of her collection to mum and there was a piece in there that just immediately made me think of Natida so I need to send it off to her. Yeah that's basically just oh I need to set up the hangout for tomorrow. So I have just a, a whole bunch of kind of like little admin-y bits to do before I can dive back into the sewing. Having said that, I have managed, the um, printer is back in action, so I have been able to kind of print out the rest of the stickers that I've made for the rest of the year and I kind of spent last night sticking those into my book rather than editing because I was having a not great day with this so I yeah trying to concentrate on the sound of my own voice was something that did not appeal so um, yeah I sat around and played with stickers and stuff and I did say I was going to film putting all those ones together and I'm afraid I didn't but what I'm thinking I might do is do like a flick through of my monthly setup and then a flick through of how the previous month has worked for me just show you guys like so make them really quick videos because I know you enjoy seeing I know there's a group of you that enjoy seeing the paper crafting stuff so I want to keep doing that as well yeah yeah it's um quite a lot of little fiddly bits and pieces to get done at the moment and once they're done I can sit down and just chill and get on with actual giant pile of sewing I'm not sure what I want to do for I kind of want to go through all the muslins first because I'm really interested to see how they turn out but I know that there are three sew alongs in there that I probably ought to do first because I can then edit those while I am up in London to have those go out whilst I'm up in London. Yeah, we shall see. We shall see. Anyway, need to reorganise the room first before I do anything else, so let's get that done. Hey peeps, happy Sunday. I am back down in the sewing room. I have not done very well with vlogging this week. I have been having particularly bad pain days and it's not too bad to start with but I have not been sleeping by the end of the day you know in the evenings so I've been getting up later and later and it's just kind of like knocked on which is one of those things that happens every now and again I haven't had one of these kinds of weeks for a while so that's good but that's why the kind of vlogging has not really been happening I don't know how much I have filmed over the last week and I'll try and put some out next week you probably won't be seeing this till the middle of next week so anyway I am down in the sewing room we are just about to start the hangout I am really early again but I don't want to wait because if I wait I will put something like supernatural on and then I'll get really involved and then I'll end up being late so I think what I what I'll do is set up the stream which will probably take me about five minutes then get on with making some muslins I have the Lausanne trench coat the magnolia dress the Bruyere shirt and the 7732 jacket to make muslins of so lots and lots of muslins I'm hoping I can get them all done today because, you know, obviously there's no finishing work involved in any of them, just sewing darts, sewing seams, trying them on for fit and seeing what happens. So yeah, we shall see, we shall see what happens. On that note, I'm going to shut up waffling at you, I'm going to turn the laptop on and waffle at some people in real life. Fingers crossed nothing happens to the internet today. It's been mostly fine all week, although for some reason it's abandoned me in my bedroom. So I'm having, well, the TV has been playing up in my bedroom. Thing seems to be me and TVs at the moment that are not getting on. So fingers crossed the internet, touch, touch wood, the internet behaves itself this week and we don't have a repeat of last week. We shall see. Can you spot Chiana? Editing Sean jumping in here from the future. I realized that I kind of left this vlog in a very kind of just an abrupt ending with Chiana under the duvet. I had filmed the next couple of days and I've got those coming out for you and they are the sneaky peeks of the 8167 and the uh, 6891 shirt dress sew alongs so the beginning of the day and then the end of the day and then there's all the sew alongs coming out as well but I realized that the the end to this this vlog was a little bit abrupt so I thought I would come in and say I hope you enjoyed the last couple of days that I filmed it was a really weird week I was starting off all right in the mornings and then just progressively getting more tired and um, aware of this as the day went on which is why you ended up with so many starts to days but not very many ends to them so yeah fingers crossed 
it won't have one of those again for a while because it's been a while since I've had one of those so yeah um anyway I am just about to film the Gold Hook Road fabric haul that I did so I will um stop waffling at you and get on with doing that so I hope you enjoyed the little bit that I did film and I will see you very soon bye